Hey guys, today we are playing in the garden again. My mom is actually here. She's gonna help me uh, take out the rest of our potatoes, but let's enjoy the uh, lovely garden. There's some things that aren't doing so great, but <gasps> guys, my cosmos are blooming. That's so exciting. Okay, so down here in the corner is where we're going to be working today. This potato bed over here. So you can see how the plants have died back. Um, the edges are getting pretty brown. You can actually tear them out before this, but um, I usually wait until the tips go brown. And honestly, I didn't really have time until right now. So we're going to tear the rest of these out and then we're going to amend this bed and actually start some seeds for fall. Um, like beets and uh, Brussels sprouts and another round of cabbage maybe, um, carrots, things that like the cool weather um, that still need the warm weather to um, sprout and germinate but would prefer to grow in cooler temps. So this is the end of July, um, August is coming so that'll still be pretty warm and then September starts to cool down for us. So we are going to tear all of these out and start new. I can't remember what the kinds were that I had, but I know each row was a different kind. So we're gonna try and separate them as much as we can. Oh my word, what is that? That is a weed. Look at that thing. It's called a college pit weed. That thing yeah. like horns mm -hmm. and many berries. Gross. Anyway. <laughs> I'll put the varieties on the screen then when I do this edit. <laughs> okay.
One thing we are gonna do next year is mound them with straw. So we're gonna dig the trench and put the potatoes in and then instead of mounding with soil, mound with straw because the potatoes don't actually have to be in soil. They just need to be covered. So we are uh, gonna try that next year and see if we get more. These are really good sized ones and I feel like if I would have had more floofy soil for them to keep going up, I think it would have been even better, but I will take it. We've done, so we took that little section out last time and then I still have some of those in the house and then these, so that's a pretty good amount. I mean, we don't use like a bunch of potatoes, but my mom had a pretty cool idea of taking the little ones and canning them like this size. So that would be a, cur a cool idea with the red ones, but I forget the varieties, like I said, I'll put them on the screen. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna amend this now and plant it with some things. And then once I do my, my garden tour, I will show you guys what I put in here, but, cause I'm not quite sure what I wanna do yet, what I wanna put in this area. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. I uh, hope this was helpful for potatoes. They're pretty easy to do. They're pretty hands off. Um, we wanted to get these out before it rains. I don't know if it is gonna rain, but just wanted to make sure they're dry because they store a little bit better. So now I'm gonna take these, we're gonna let them cure the skin on the outside, cure them, and then put them in a dark, cool place. And don't let them see light, basically. And they'll keep pretty, pretty long. So we'll see, but anyway, bye guys.